leads right right ahead of me. <laughs> On the highway. Hope everyone's doing great, having a great weekend. Uh, this is post Fourth of July weekend. Uh, didn't actually get a chance to go riding over the long holiday weekend. Uh, yeah, I had a bunch of barbecues and parties to go to, and then I planned on going earlier on this week, but it ended up raining pretty hard, so that kind of put a damper on those plans. So this is the first chance I've had to get on my bike in a week or two. Anyway, um, <laughs> when I had uh, told uh, my friends you know that I bought a new motorcycle, and you know when I when I put new videos, uh, the new video reveal video out there, uh, I did get a lot of comments from private messages from people asking uh, why I didn't get a road glide, and uh, I thought that was kind of funny because, um, in all honesty, the difference between a road glide and an ultra a road glide limited and an ultra limited are. Uh, few and far between, um, but still, I guess it's a valid question. You know, why? Why I wanted the ultra limited instead of the road glide limited? Because um, I mean, from the tank up or tank back, they're the exact same motorcycle. It's all about the fairing. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd give a quick. Uh, Explanation as to why I bought. Thank you, navigation. Uh, why I got the Ultra Limited instead of the Road Glide? Because um, I did test drive. I have test ridden both of them. I didn't actually test ride the Road Glide when I bought this, but I had ridden it many times before, so it wasn't anything new. Uh, first and foremost is the lights. Um, no, let's scratch that. The most important thing is the looks. I like the way this bike looks far more than the Road Glide. I know there are people out there who love the way the Shark Nose looks and love the look of that bike. It's not me. I just don't, I can't get into the way it looks. I don't bash the way it looks. Uh, that's a very personal thing, you know, the aesthetics of the vehicle you drive. It's just not for me. I can appreciate uh, the design and the functionality of it. I don't think it's like stupid or anything like that, but I just, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. In all honesty, I wasn't a really huge fan of the Challenger either. Um, I got that bike because I needed a bike for Deals Gap. Uh, I, I like the Batwing fairings more. I just think they look nice. So that's actually number one. Number two is the lighting. Um, in the old days, uh, if you put LE, you know, if you compare this to an older Ultra Limited, the road light's going to have nicer uh, or more visible light at night. And I may do a video and show you the difference. Um, but... The Ultra Limited with the with the light in the two auxiliary lights lights up the road better than the two smaller lights on the road glide. It is just a fact of life. And I do like riding my motorcycle at night and I like having uh, Wow. Anyway, I like being able to see the road as best as possible. And you can just see the road better with the Ultra Limited. It lights up the road better. So that breaks to point three, and that is, I like the smaller footprint of the Batwing fairing. Um, I can see more of the road, I can see over uh, the fairing better. Uh, it's not as good as having like a Road King, um, or any of the soft tails that don't have a fairing. But the fairing is not that intrusive on the Ultra Limited, it's just not. Uh, does the road glide block the wind better? I've never seen, or I've never felt a difference. Um, just like I've never, I mean, I've I drive a lot on the highway a lot. I've never been 
in a position where I thought miles. this bike was even, let me shut this a little bit, this bike was even remotely unstable. Um, I think that's, I mean, I guess you could get knocked down, knocked around a little less if you were in high winds and you went by like a truck or something, but personally, I've never, I've never questioned the stability of a Batwing motorcycle enough to think, <coughs> excuse me, enough to think that a bike with a, with a fairing, with a frame mounted fairing would solve a problem that I have with wind uh, or with stability. Uh, it's never been a factor on any motorcycle I've ever had, so is the frame mounted fairing more stable? I mean, I guess it's technically possible that it is, but Again, it's solving a problem that doesn't exist. Um, the other thing about the Road Glide that people talk about is like an advantage is that it has more storage in the fairing. And again, I call people out on that because I don't understand what the point of having more storage or having storage in your fairing to begin with is when you have a tour pack. Um, I, you know, you could say, well, I put my gloves in there, but why aren't you putting your gloves in your jacket? Or why aren't you taking your gloves with you? I don't understand why you would leave them in an unlocked container in the fairing, because you can't lock these. So, you're just, what are you just hoping someone doesn't open it and steal stuff from there? That That's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It seems like to me, it looks like they added that door on the road glide because they're like, what do we do with this big gap? Eh, well, make it a make it a storage space for something, but I don't get it. The only advantage to me that the road glide has in that category is that you can fit a big giant smartphone in there, and this one you can't. Um, which I guess, again, is that really a big deal? Because there's a charger in the tour pack. So, why do you need to get at your phone? If you need to get at your phone, you should have a phone mount right here. So, I, I just don't see it. I don't see the advantage of the, the storage of a rope glide over an Ultra Limited. I just don't. Uh, the other, let's see, so that's three, four would be the wind buffeting. Um, for me, I'm around 5'10", 5'11". Uh, I feel like I'm six feet, but I'm not. Uh, I get wind buffeting on the road line. I don't know if it's the way, you know, I align with the the position, um, the rider's triangle, or I, I can't figure it out because I know people who are taller than me who don't have an, any issue with wind buffeting, but I have wind buffeting on road lines. I just do. So... I would have to get like a taller windshield, I guess. Like, I don't like this windshield. I think this windshield's a little bit too small. Because um, windshields should come up to your eye level. And this one's about three inches below that. So I do need to get a taller windshield for here. But even with the shorter windshield, I still don't have wind buffeting. But I have wind buffeting on a road glide and a road glide limited. So that's a problem for me. That's a personal thing, though. Um, if someone said to me, well, I don't have any buffeting on my road glide, I would be like, I believe you, okay? Because I, I know a lot of people who say they don't have that problem. I don't know why I do, but I do. Uh, the last issue for me with the road glide is that the fairing is too far away from your hands. Now, I know that people, again, say, well, learn how to use the hand controls. And that's a valid point. You should know how to use the hand controls. However, Harley went through the effort to put some high-tech Gorilla Glass and really drive the Boom GTS system by its touchscreen interface. And for it to be a huge issue to reach forward to touch the uh, touch the G uh, Boom Audio and a Road Glide is a big issue for me. I paid all that money. To have this fancy navigate or infotainment system on my bike and I can't use the touchscreen interface, 
that seems ridiculous to me. Um, I also don't like the gauge layout. I like having all four of these things where they are. They're not in my face. I don't have to look down very far to see uh, how fast I'm going. Uh, to me, on the road glide, you're almost at tank level, um, which I think Harley still having gauges on the tank is the dumbest thing on the planet. You should at least have them on the handlebars. But even on the handlebars, it's still several inches below where they are on the road glide. So I don't, or the street glide, and ultra limited. So I don't have to look down, really, for more than a millisecond. And even then, my eyes technically are still on the road to see how fast I'm going to see what my RPM is, to see if there's any warning lights going on, to see the fuel gauges. I don't have to deal with any of that. Um, so those are the reasons why I picked the Ultra Limited over the Road Glide Ultra. But I will tell you this, um, all of those points are really, really nitpicky. Uh, at the end of the day, they are pretty much the same freaking motorcycle. So if you like the way the Road Glide looks over the street, over the Ultra Limited, then get the Road Glide. If you like the way the Ultra Limited looks more than the Road Glide, then get the Ultra Limited. Because all the talk over the internet over how one has such a, an advantage over the other, it's bullshit. They are essentially the same freaking motorcycle. So that's my take on the whole thing. I just like the way the Ultra Limited looks. I always have. I like the way Batwing fairings look, so that's why I got it. Um, I hope this helps anyone who's, you know, debating which Harley uh, tour motorcycle they want. Because uh, at the end of the day, like I said, buy the one that you think looks nicer. Because you're really not gaining anything by having one or the other. So this is Region Rent Rider signing out. I hope everyone has a great rest of their weekend. If this shows up on the weekend. Or a great work week. And I will talk, it all of you, talk to all of you later. Have a great one. Bye.